many people have been asking how they can do use this hard drive in their laptop you know like uh, even use it like external hard drive or maybe you you want to copy some of your data that was there when you were using it in the desktop or you just want to be using it externally you will need extra storage in which you want to use the hard drive you know the reason why you can use this even if you use a hard drive connector for your laptop SATA connector it wouldn't read the reason why it wouldn't read is because the hard drive needs a 12 volt and 5 volt and your laptop does not supply 12 volt in the uh, USB port it only supplies 5 volt so I will show you the trick in which you will be able to do that so as you can see this pins here you have the first diode the first diode which controls the 12 volt then the second which controls the 5 volt these are the things you will need to do the work you will need a SATA cable with your soldering iron and your solder wire before you do the work but if you don't have these things you will just need to go to any repairing shop around you then show the, the, the uh, technician what to do what he will need to do so what you will first need to do is to insulate the first three pins which are these pins that I have already insulated what I mean is that you will have to separate the pins from the main board the first three pins from the main board for your, for your laptop safety you know uh, if you don't separate them when you connect the 12 volt in which we are about to connect right now it can easily damage your PC so uh, what I'm talking about now is that you will need to uh, disconnect the first three pins for me I won't be disconnecting them because I already did that as you can see I won't be disconnecting my three pins because I did that already yeah you will need sh two short cables like this for the work you will need to let the red cable w which is a positive cable to the first three pins and make sure that you have insulate the pins that are in the connector from the board you should disable the pins that are in the connector now you will need to lay the negative cable if it's hard for you to identify where to lay it then find any conductor area that there is a screw there you can even lay the negative cable on any screw that you see there those are the negative so now we are done with the hard drive we have the positive cable and we have the negative which is all about it so let us go to the next thing what you will need now is a 12 volt adapter you can use 12 volt from any motherboard that you have if you don't have an adapter and if you don't have you can still buy any 12 volt adapter so you will need to connect the positive side of the 12 volt adapter to the positive cable in which you laid then the negative side to the negative cable now that we are done connecting the 12 volt to the hard drive you you will need now the hard drive connector as you can see mine you will need the hard drive connector so that's mine now you will just need to plug in the hard drive connector to your hard drive then to your pc connect it to your pc after connecting it to your PC you will need to connect the 12 volt charger to the coin as you can see the PC have detected the hard drive and that's it that's the hard drive the desktop hard drive in which we are just working on I'll ju I just remove it and insert it back so check on you see that's it you 
See, everything inside is open. Let us try and copy something to the hard drive. Copy. So let us paste it into the hard drive. You see, the hard drive is working perfectly. So that's all you will need to do. So please, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next video. And comment, please. Thank you. See you in my next video.